What's up world, this is Levi Craig with another speed paint watercolor chaos video. This one I'm doing is uh, Harry Potter themed. Kind of wanted to do like the Patronus um, with um, the owl from Harry Potter. I think it'll look pretty cool. I've been seeing like a lot of artwork with a lot of uh, pale or pastel colors with like a starry sky in the background. So I wanted to try my hand at that. So my whole thought was uh, laying down really, really light colors, a lot of purples, pinks, and blues for the owl as well as for the deer. Um, and I kind of want to just lay down those lights first. And I really love the transition between pink and blue because when you mix those two colors, you get a very, very fun light uh, violet. And uh, I think it creates a really kind of neat pastel -y kind of look, which is what I was going for. I normally go for like super saturated, bright colors, but in this one I wanted to push more that pale kind of uh, thing that you see more often with watercolors. Watercolors is kind of known, in my opinion, for being a very light thing. Um, and, and by doing that, it, it's pretty straightforward. You just put a lot more water in it. So, yeah, I don't know if you can tell, oh, but I'm using, you know, my uh, size 6 brush I normally always use and kind of just lightly uh, put it on there. These antlers are really fun. I really love painting antlers of late. It's, I just think that the silhouette that they create is really fun and neat. Um, and I can just get in there and do some pretty decent detail. I don't want to be too detailed because I'm going to go back in with a, a much heavier contrast blue and purple probably to make this whole thing really pop and stand out. Because like right now you can see it's it's pretty pale. You, 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 it's pretty hard to even see what it is. But when you put that starry, um, you know, universe behind it, it's going to really pop. One thing I was really enjoying is mixing blue to green. And I've got this forest green that I really enjoy using. It's kind of a pain in the butt because it clumps. Um, this is a Grum Batcher paint. And I don't know if it's my technique or, or what. I mean, I am using kind of a dry canvas to put this on there. Sometimes they recommend you use, you know, a wet canvas first, but uh, it kind of clumps. Now I'm starting to go in and do that universe kind of thing. You see how dark that is? It's just really, really condensed blues and purples and a little bit of red. I kind of want to make this universe kind of feel so a whole lot of um, just dark colors, really, really saturated, but but there's still some color in it. Like it, it's not just, you know, blue or not just purple. I kind of want some fun transitions. And I'm being really careful with... Um, you know, the splatters I want to put in there because I really like splatters in my work. I think that the, the splattering creates this sense of energy, which I really feel is important for my work because I really want to figure out a style that motivates and inspires people with energy. Um, I've probably repeated that a bunch of times. That's, that's been my thought process with most of my pieces of late is trying to f create something that gives people a sense of energy. Um, but anyway, get, playing around more and more with um, super dark contrasts. And on the, on the right side of this piece, I'm playing with that blue, purple, a little bit of red, and even putting green in there and just really laying it on heavy. Like when you're mixing paint with water, I'm using cakes. Um, well, I mean, they, they came out of a tube and I put them in that little palette tray and then, and I, you know, they dry out. But... You, you want, while it's while the paint is dry in your mixing tray, you put on um, a little bit of water and you just pretty much mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it until it is almost solid paint. And that's why, how I'm able to create this really dark contrast as for this background. I even snuck in a little moon and I just basically, you know, didn't paint that little area above uh, the antlers and the deer. Now I'm Touching back in, I mean, I'm pretty much done with this piece. Right now, it's just a whole lot of touch-up work. Um, you get the general concept down. Got the starry sky. Oh, and I'm going to cheat. I've been... Um, <laughs> normally, I say, you know, I, I push myself to making these completely watercolors, but I forgot. I'm going to use a gel pen. Um, and it's from that brand, Jelly, uh, with, a, with a G as opposed to a J. But um, you can see it's off in the corner. I'm going to use a pin to do like a bunch of stars. I mean, with the moon I did up in the center, I just didn't paint in that area. But it's so hard to like not paint little dots all over the place. So I'm just going to use one of those gel pins to create that star or sky. I went through the process of like trying to find the right 
kind of uh, pin to use, and I find that jelly one um, is, is is the best. I mean, there's a lot of other um, white pins you can use, but the jelly one I'm, I'm, I'm going to recommend. <laughs> But um, right now I'm doing just the layering that I like to do with the drips all over it. Kind of putting down some heavy purples, um, heavy greens everywhere. Wanting to create this this flow that I really enjoy with um, you know my pieces, and uh, it's it's coming out really cool. It's not quite as dark as I wanted it to be. I think even while I was doing it, I was kind of frustrated. I was having a hard time getting the paint as dark as I wanted it to be. Um, but right now here I'm doing that thing with the jelly pin. They're kind of just going along, creating little dots here and there, creating a little starry sky. And my process was trying to be as random as, as possible. Um, kind of went over and just dotted it. And that's it. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed that. I think it turned out fantastic. Uh, please give me a comment or two if you think you, if you, if you enjoyed it sort of thing. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. I really hope you enjoyed this video. So have a good day. <laughs>